That's just what's happening here at the Arizona State University, where the era of the blackboard and textbook is coming to an end. The learning process is now digital and fully customised. Software analyses students' every keystroke to figure out their learning styles. When we visit, students are revising for their final exams. And then we're going to add 7% of everything over 3,000. The teaching staff are no longer the only ones helping students to progress. The software harvests information from the devices they use, collating grades, learning skills, strong and weak points, and even hesitation patterns when using the computer mouse. It's very personal. It adapts to each individual student's needs. So one student might breeze through a particular topic where another student might need more work, and the system will adapt accordingly. Predictive algorithms compare the stats with data gathered from tens of thousands of other students and automatically customize material for the student. New technology also changes teaching methods by giving teachers more time to support students individually and less time lecturing. It can identify your progress real quickly, so you'll have stuff you're working on and you just you blow right through it. It helped by um, knowing what I needed to work on. So if I didn't do good on fractions or proportions, it would take me back. Back at her office, Professor Bloom can look at her students' data. The software will automatically alert her when a student is falling behind. I've gone into the data. She's completed in one section 99% of the learning uh, learning objectives and 98% in another one. So there are just a few topics that are holding her out and I can look and see what's causing her difficulty and we'll sit down and we'll talk about those ideas. But the license for the software is not cheap. The university's goal is to reduce the number of students dropping out and thereby increase revenues coming from tuition. Our main goal is to get these students to graduate. So yes, it's a good thing for the university to get them to graduate. Uh, it is very good also to retain the students. Uh, they're paying tuition the next year, in the next three years. Arizona State University's success rate has increased 13% and the dropout rate is down by 54%. Aspen Cooper has just graduated and for her, adaptive learning is an affordable path to academic success. No one is left behind. The pass rate is very well in this class. Um, the only reason that the student doesn't pass is that they don't put the time into the system. With millions of students using this adapted learning approach in the US, it appears to have a bright future. But how advantageous it is to non-maths and creative subjects is less clear at this stage. <laughs>